Hey everyone, today I'm doing a tutorial on this look. Um, <laughs> it's very colorful, obviously. Um, we got like some blues and greens. Today I wanted to do a cool tone colorful look. I honestly am having so much fun playing around with these colors and stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you want to know how this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Um, can we just talk for a second about my eyebrows really quick? Do they look any different? I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about it. Do you think they look different? Today, I filled them in with my Anastasia Dip Brow. I haven't used the Anastasia Dip Brow in like a year. So it was very... It's a big deal. I don't know how I feel though. Do you guys like them today? Or do you like them better how I usually do them? Because honestly, like, I'm like 50-50. I feel like colors will show up better on a white base compared to like a skin toned base like my mac soft darker paint pot so i am just applying this from my lid up to my brow bone and i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with my fingers oh, i feel like the lighting looks so bad i look so freaking weak all right so um i'm blending this out no big deal I swear every freaking time I blend out my eyeshadow base, I mess up just this eyebrow. Not this one, it's always this one. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and set this base. I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm just going to be taking this white shade um, just to set this base. I feel like it's important to set um, eyeshadow bases because eyeshadows can stick to certain spots if they're still sticky and I can't even I, I try to explain myself but I just can't do it I'm gonna be taking this shade all the way at the end and I'm just gonna be buffing this into my crease pretty smokily um yeah this will be like my transition shade short short of sort of Alright, I know exactly what I'm doing now. I just thought of it in my head and I'm just, I'm ready for it now. Alright, next I'm going to be taking the shade that's right next to it. It's a, it's a darker shade. And I'm just going to be focusing this mainly just on like the outer corner of my eye. I don't really want this to be perfect. I just kind of want it to be like a messy, smoked out crease color. You know what I mean? Alright, next for my Urban Decay Vice 3 palette, I'm going to be taking, um, what shade do I, I'm going to be taking the shade Freeze right here, it just is like a teal color, I guess, and I'm going to be using my finger and just, oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm just going to like, um, apply it to my bottom lash line. O. M. G. So once I have like the initial color down, I think I got a little bit of eyeshadow on my eye, but like, I'm just going to blink it out. I'm going to take, um, from the Kat Von D palette again, that first shade that I used, and just use it to, um, kind of blend out underneath of that blue. And then I'm going to just take this other shade from the Vice 3 palette called Heroin. It just is like a dark blue. And with a dense, like, brush, a dense, like, smudgy brush, I'm going to get some of that on, on the brush and put this on the outer corners of my lower lash line. Then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just sort of blend it. Take a little bit more freeze and focus that right there on the inner half. I'm gonna take a pigment from Inglot. Um, this is the number 45. I am not gonna use this pigment wet because I've tried it wet one time and it totally changed the color. It was like, I don't know, I didn't like it. So I'm just gonna use a shader brush, like dry. Um, usually when I apply pigments, I use them, them wet, but today, we are not. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inner corners of my eyes. This is so pretty. And I'm blending it into like the color. Oh my gosh, yes. 
blending it into the color on the lower lash line right there. All right, so that's going to be it for shadows. Um, since there's a lot going on in the lower lash line, I feel, I do want to add some winged eyeliner to the top. Where's my liner? Okay, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D liquid liner in Trooper. So I went ahead and did my liner. Sorry, I tried to get it on like camera like to try to show you guys how I I'm doing it, um, but I just couldn't film it. The only difference that I did with my eyeliner today compared to what I've been doing lately is lately I've been doing like a little thing in the inner corner of my eye. A lot of you guys have been commenting on it. Um, I just didn't do that today because I really wanted the inner part of my eye to really be open. I also went ahead and applied my false lashes. Um, I used the Salon Perfect 615s, this is just a new pair, and I stacked them with the Ardell Wispies, and I did that, I did some mascara on my lower lashes, and I also did my highlight, today for my highlight I used my Too Faced Candlelight Glow. I'm going to take this Tarte Inner Rim Liner, and I'm just going to line my waterline with this, because I really want my eyes to look very round and open today, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh shit, I just, I wasn't looking, I was looking up there. I just got it in my eyelashes, but no big deal. This is really creamy, so I like that. But um, next, I'm just going to go in with a little bit more mascara on my bottom lashes because I did get this in my lashes a little bit. And lately for mascara, I've been using the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. So I'm just going to go ahead, do a little bit, sorry, do a little bit more. Alright, so that's going to be it for the eyes. I don't want the focus to be on my lips. I want it to be on my eyes. So I'm going to take MAC's lip liner and strip down just because this is like a nude brown liner and it's my like new favorite one. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and fill them in with this. I'm going to use Honey Love, which is just a very nude, and I'm just going to apply this to the center of my lips. And then with my finger, I'm going to blend them. Alright, so that's <laughs> it for the makeup. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys try this look out or any of my other looks, go ahead and send me a Snapchat or tweet me a photo of it or anything because I love seeing you guys recreate the looks that I do. I don't know. It just feels really cool to me. And yeah, um, if you want me to keep doing colorful looks like this, then let me know. It's really fun playing around with things that you don't usually do. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. Please thumbs it up. Please thumbs up this video if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.